is Butterflies and Moths Part 2. By the time it is a week old, the wiggling creature the size of a comma will have grown into a plump caterpillar. Now it must watch for birds, wasps, lizards, squirrels, and many other predators that will want to eat it. But a caterpillar is not always easy to catch. Many are green or brown, so they are hard to spot. Some use their silk to sew leaves into little shelters to hide in. Others leap away on silk threads like bungee jumpers when they are scared. They climb back when the danger has passed. Down here this caption says, when scared, this rainforest caterpillar twists its body around the puffs and puffs up its front end to look like a poisonous snake. It even waves its body like a snake. But look closely and you will see that its snake eyes are not real. They are black and white markings normally hidden underneath the caterpillar. Interesting. A few caterpillars seem too disgusting to eat. They look just like bird poop, or they will vomit green juice if they are attacked. Then there are the tricksters. Some of the most beautiful and furry like caterpillars have stinging hairs. One touch can hurt for days. Pretty yellow and black monarch caterpillars have poisons in their bodies. Any bird that eats one gets sick and will never want to try another. Other caterpillars have bodyguards. They ooze a sweet drink that ants like and in return the ants attack anything that comes near. Some of these caterpillars can even call to their ant helpers with scraping and singing sounds. Down here, this caption says, The caterpillar of the black swallowtail butterfly defends itself by sticking out a smelly orange organ called an osmetrium. It will try to wipe the stinky osmetrium on its attacker. One day, after it has molted several times, the caterpillar will finally stop eating. By now, it may be more than 3,000 times heavier than when it hatched, and it is all ready for the next stage of its life. The caterpillar wanders away to find a safe place to turn into a pupa. A moth caterpillar may first spin itself a silk shelter called a cocoon, but a butterfly caterpillar simply finds a quiet spot to spin a silk pad and perhaps a safety harness to hang from. Then it wiggles out of its caterpillar skin. Underneath, the pupa is enclosed in a case, which turns hard. It barely moves day after day. But inside, there is a miracle happening called metamorphosis. Much of the caterpillar's body is breaking down into a soup. Other parts like growing buds, are turning into wings, legs, and other bits of the adult body. Many of these changes had started while the pupa was still a caterpillar, but they were small and hidden. Now they happen quickly. Down here, this caption says, A monarch butterfly caterpillar hangs upside down from a silk pad and squeezes out of its old skin to turn into a beautiful green pupa. After a week or two, you can see the body of the butterfly ready to emerge on the right. So it's showing you each of the stages, or each of the stages here, and then the last stage here. The pupil will stay motionless for about two weeks, sometimes longer. Then one day, it splits open and the adult crawls out. A moth might need to cut its way out of its silk cocoon, but a butterfly can just hang from its old pupa case and rest. At first, it looks crumpled, which you might expect after being crushed inside a pupa. Then, bit by bit, the body expands and straightens. Its soft, limp wings fill with blood and open like beautiful sails. 
then dry hard. Down here, this caption says, a monarch butterfly often emerges from its pupa in the early morning so its wings can expand and dry in the warming sun. These wings are one of the most amazing creations of nature. They are lighter than feather, feathers, yet strong enough to carry a butterfly or moth for hundreds of miles of flying. Look closely and you will see that they are covered in tiny scales. Each has a single color, like a piece of glass in a cathedral window. Together they create the wonderful patterns and colors of a moth or butterfly wing. These wing sail scales come off easily, which is useful if a butterfly or moth flies into its worst enemy, the spider's web. When this happens, the butterfly or moth can pull its wings away and escape. All that is left behind are a few scales stuck to the web and a hungry spider. Down here, this small caption says, Thousands of colored scales are arranged in neat rows on this butterfly's wing. The long, straight tubes called veins help to make the wings stiff and strong. About an hour after the butterfly has emerged from its pupa, it will stretch out its new legs and gently move its wings. It seems to test them as if it's realizing it has a completely new body. Instead of the 12 or so tiny eyes it had as a caterpillar, the butterfly now has thousands of light sensors. These are grouped together to make two very big eyes, called compound eyes. For the first time, it can see the simple shapes and colors of leaves and other butterflies. It also has two long antennas on its head, which is covered with organs that seem that sense touch and even smell. It is suddenly aware of the perfumes of flowers and can feel the wind tug at its new wings. Soon the young butterfly becomes curious. It takes off. This glass wing butterfly from the Amazon rainforest has transparent wings. You can see that the butterfly's body has three main parts. The head with eyes and antenna, the thorax with wings and legs, and the abdomen, which contains the heart. This page spins up. Butterflies and moths are wonderful flyers. Sphinx moths can zoom through the air at 30 miles an hour. Hummingbird moths can hover and even fly backwards as they zip from flower to flower. Some butterflies fly hundreds of miles when they migrate from place to place. The most amazing are the monarch butterflies. During the fall, they can fly 2,000 miles from Canada to Mexico, where they spend the winter. Down here, this caption says, a butterfly takes off by opening both wings very quickly, then pushes down hard on the air and flips the butterfly into the sky. Every time the butterfly's wings flap, they create little swirls of the air that pushes and tug it along. 